What's up, Islanders? This is Derek from Island Time, your host. And we are one month away from an upcoming cruise, and so that means it's time to start getting ready for that cruise. We have a list of things that we always take care of before we cruise, and we want to share it with you. We ask that you share it with others. If you are in roll call groups on Facebook, go ahead and put this video out there. I promise there's something in this video that will help every cruiser, no matter if they are experienced cruisers, diamond and platinum, or they are new cruisers. This will help everyone. Also, while you're at it, if you haven't subscribed to Island Time, come be an Islander with us. We enjoy discussing cruising, cruise news, ship tours, all kinds of great things. So go ahead and subscribe, like the video as well, so others will see it. Let's get started with our to-do list. Number 20, ensure that all of your bills, okay, people you owe money to, water bill, electric bill, credit card payments, your bill pay items on your banking uh, statements and things you take care of are paid. Go ahead and do that early. That way the week of or a few days before you have something due, you don't have to worry about it. Make sure your debts are paid before you leave. You don't want to come back and something be turned off or some mean statements on your door because you haven't paid a bill. Make sure you get everything paid, okay? Number 19, you should be working on your budget for onboard spending. If you've cruised before, you probably know about how much you spend. Or if you're new to cruising, you're not sure what you should spend. We will have videos uploaded soon that will help you with that. But start working on your budget and what you want to spend on board. It will help you out in the long run, I promised. Also, you can, uh, we encourage you to carry large bills with you when you travel. I know a lot of us tip in $1 increments or $2 increments. Of course, we also use fives and tens in there as well. But we encourage you to bring and carry large bills with you. That way it's easier to carry in your wallet or your purse. And you can always break these bills at guest services. You can always take 100 up there and break it into smaller increments, okay? Number 18, you better check your meds. Do you need any refills? Get your refills starting now, one month out, so you have them and you don't run out on your trip or the days following your trip. There's so always so much to do when you come back from a trip and you don't want going to the pharmacy and spending 30 minutes or an hour there to be one of those things. Also, check your medicines such as your ibuprofen, your Tums, and get your medical bag ready as you start to cruise. You may not pack, pack those things one month in advance because you use them, but take inventory on the medicines that you know you're gonna take on the ship and if you need anything, make sure you put that on your grocery list this month. Number 17, make sure your excursions are booked or if they're not booked, make sure they're planned. I know how it goes. Sometimes you know what you're going to do based on the port that you're going to. Sometimes you don't know until you get on the ship. You think, well, we'll just find something when we get on board. Plan things out. Know what you're kind of going to do. Research where the taxi stands are at each port, how much the taxi should cost you based on where you might go. And it doesn't hurt to screenshot maps that you can have on your phone or your iPad that you carry with you. You don't wanna carry anything too expensive, but have a map of the port, the taxi stand, have a picture maybe of where you want to go, the address, and that will always help you out. But be thinking about excursions and things you want to do when you're in port, okay? Number 16, you better ensure the babysitter's ready. We've got young ones, confirm with that babysitter when you're exactly going to drop the kids off, when you're exactly you're going to be home, and go ahead and plan maybe for an extra day. You never know what happens. And, and ask your babysitter, hey, would you be okay if something happened and we were a day late coming back? Okay, we hope that doesn't happen, but you always have to make plans. Your dog watchers, your kennels, go ahead and call them. Uh, coming up this week or next week and make sure that they know that you're going to drop off uh, your pet to them and how long that they're going to uh, be in their care. Your house watchers, those that are either staying at your house or coming by to watch your house, go ahead and check with, in with them. Let them know your exact dates and any special expectations. If you want to leave lights on at night, certain nights and different rooms, things like that, Check on those that watch your house and that care for your loved ones. Number 15, confirm your airfare travel. If you book Southwest, 
Now is the time to keep continue looking at those fares. If fares falls, fall on Southwest, you get money back or you get points back. So check your airfare. Make sure that if you are uh, in one of those classes where you can get cheaper airfare or credited back, if it goes down, be watching it this month. Also confirm your hotel, your car rental, um, and your transportation. Make sure and call, especially for instance, if you're staying at the Harbor House in Galveston, that's right there by the port, by the way, if you're looking for a hotel, call them and make sure if you want a room that faces the port so you can see the ship when you wake up, call them this week or next week and be sure that they have you down for that type of room, okay? Number 14, print off anything pertinent to the trip. I love the phone, I love having things electronically. Also print off all your itineraries, uh, everything that's been communicated to you about your cruise, your onboard credit for instance. Casino offers, I've seen so many times people get to the casino, they book because of some sort of offer, $500 in free play and they get there and the casino doesn't know what they're supposed to get. They don't have that down. If you have it printed, I promise you it will help. So print off anything that you think is pertinent to your trip and it will help. Keep that information with you, of course. Go ahead and print off your luggage tags if you can. I know we're in a particular situation right now with the cruise restart, but print off anything that you can that's pertinent to your trip. Number 13, once you print out your luggage tags, Fill those out and go ahead and put those on your suitcases so you're done with it, okay? Um, and you're not, you're not necessarily gonna put them on your suitcase if you're flying, because if you're flying, of course, there's gonna be other luggage tags, but you can fill them out, put them in your suitcase, that way when you go um, and you land and you're gonna stay in your hotel, then you can put those on uh, your suitcase and be ready to drop them off at the port. Number 12, start packing items that you know you're not going to use at home. For instance, sunscreen chair clips, um, swimsuits, things that you may not be using right now that you can go ahead and pack in your suitcase. Go ahead the next week or two, get that stuff in a suitcase and enjoy the, the feeling that you are getting ready to go on a vacation. Number 11, let credit card companies know that you're going out of town, know the exact dates. It's always a good idea to carry a credit card with you when you travel. I know a lot of people only carry cash, but let your credit card company know and carry one with you just in case you get in a situation where you need a credit card when you're in port or when you're traveling. Number 10, put your mail on hold. Unless your housekeeper's going to check your mail, you can go to your post office. They will hold your mail right there. They will not deliver it for the dates that you give them. Then you can pick it all up. When you get back in town, you can ensure everything is there. That may differ uh, based on where you live and if you need to do this, where I live, it's a great idea to do it so no one takes your mail. Number nine, reach out to your cell phone company. You may be surprised uh, how cheap of a rate you would have to use your phone in, in Cozumel, Mexico or in Central America. I know that I have AT&T and you can pay for a one month package. It's usually like 10 bucks and you can call and text and even ha sometimes have some sort of service to use uh, internet while you're in Central America. So if you're interested in that, if you have kids back at home or work back at home that you need to check on, or parents back at home in my situation that I need to check on, call your uh, cell phone company, see if you can do something for a month. Sometimes there's even a free trial and they'll let you do it for free. Number eight, arrange travel to and from your departure port in your hotel. We're flying in next month. Uh, we're cruising out of Galveston. We're flying in to Houston Hobby and we already have plans there for transportation to take us to the port, okay? Whether it's, you can use Uber and Lyft if you want to, but sometimes local services are cheaper and uh, sometimes more beneficial because they have a bigger van or something like that. So make sure you have transportation to and from the port if you want to, if not, use Uber or Lyft. If you don't have the apps or an account with Uber or Lyft, go ahead and download the apps within this next month so you have them on your phone, you've set up payment, and when you land and you have your luggage and you're standing outside in Houston, Texas in July, you don't have to sit there and download the app there, okay? Number seven, book spa treatments for prime appointment times. The spa, I can make a whole nother series on the spa, but if you know that you want a massage the day you get on board or the first sea day, go ahead and make your, your appointment. I've had people ask me, is it not cheaper just to wait and get on the ship and then book? You never know. You can check the price for sure when you get on the ship. And if it is cheaper than what you paid, 
they're going to give you your money back, I promise. If you, if you say, hey, I paid $150 for an hour massage and this says $130, they will take care of you, I promise. But you can go ahead and book the time that you want. Uh, we've done this so many times. The, the day of uh, embarkation, we get on the ship, we've set it up for a massage the first day to really kick off the cruise. It is awesome. That first sea day is always popular too. So if you want a massage mid-morning the first sea day, book it now. Book it right now. Worry about price later. If it's cheaper later, they'll give you the difference. Number six, prepay for cheers. Um, you save 10% on Carnival and Royal Caribbean has uh, also in the all cruise lines really have a discount if you will pay for a package like cheers, the all-inclusive all-you-can-drink package up to 15 drinks but pay for it before you get on the ship and you will save money. The same is true for internet. If you know you want internet, even if it's just the social media package, buy it before you get on. It will be more expensive when you get on board, I promise. Buy it right now. Number five, think about your packing list. We will have a video very soon about the packing list and things that we pack. Start thinking about things you need to pack and don't overpack. That's the biggest mistake by rookie and veteran cruisers alike. We always pack more than we think we need. Remember, especially for diamond and platinum, you get free laundry service. You can wash things if you need to, so don't overpack. If you're not diamond and platinum, you can pay to have things washed. So again, don't worry about bringing two and three suitcases per person. Pack light, we're gonna be outside most of the time anyway. Pack your formal outfits. A lot of times I wear the same formal outfit both nights. But again, that's subjective. Some people really like dressing up for the occasion and they wear something different and that's totally perfect, it is okay. But if you want to save room in your suitcase, you can wear the same thing at, at formal night for both nights. Number four, we're talking about dining. Some people eat only in what's included in all the restaurants, um, but if you want dining experiences that you have to pay for, start thinking about what nights you want to eat. Here's what you can do. The menus for all the ships are online. If you need help finding menus, let me know and I will help you. Look at those menus and find the nights where nothing really strikes your cord there and, and use those nights when you don't really like any of the meals or you don't prefer any of the meals in the main dining room. And those are the nights that you need to go eat at Fahrenheit 555 and at the Seafood Shack, Bonsai Sushi, all of those. So start looking at menus now and plan your dining experiences accordingly. Remember on Carnival, if you dine the first night of the cruise with the steakhouse, you get a free bottle of wine per, per reservation. And it's casual. You can show up and wear even shorts in the steakhouse and get a free bottle of wine. That is a win-win right there. Number three, check prices and current inventory based on your cabins. You'd be surprised how many times the fare falls a little bit within this last month. And if you have early saver, you can get onboard credit. So check those cabin prices. I've called before and said, hey, my cabin dropped by $100. And they said, well, do you want $100 back or do you want us to upgrade you from an interior to an ocean view or a balcony for the same price? Check those cabin prices. I, I, do, it, <laughs> I do it every day, but at least every two or three days to see if something can be done about a lower fare or an upgrade. Number two, locate your passport. Make sure right now your passport is good to go or your birth certificate. Find it now and put it in a place you know where it's at. Check the date on it. Check your driver's license to make sure the date on your driver's license does not ex expire between here and when you get back. And your vaccination card. This of course won't apply forever, but if you need your vaccination card to cruise for July and August and maybe going forward, make sure you have your vaccination card. Make copies of all of these things and keep them to the copies in a different place than your originals. Be sure you do that. When you fly and you have your carry-on suitcase or purse, keep your passports, your vaccine cards, your driver's license, your birth certificate, keep those on you. Do not ever, even if you have a carry-on and the airline company says, we need to take your carry-on and move it underneath to check luggage, that's okay, you can do that. But get that information out before you let them do that. I personally have had someone cruise with me, they had that happen, let's take your bag, you will get it when you land. Something happened to the bag. 
uh, and all their documents are in there. So keep those important documents that you know that you need and you can't cruise without, keep them in your possession at all times. And number one, be ready to check in. Right now, it, check in's a little bit different. If you're diamond and platinum, you can check in starting 16 days before boarding. You select your time slot. So be ready 16 days before your cruise. Be ready to check in. Everyone else, you're 14 days. I think suites are also 16 days, but know when you check in, know the date you check in, and be ready to check in then because that will get you on the ship the fastest. I hope that these 20 things will help you this next month get ready for your cruise, and I hope they help your cruise experience. Remember, if you have not subscribed to Island Time, please consider subscribing. We put up content just like this that tries to help cruisers just like you. We thank you so much for being an Islander and liking our content. We are right there with you on cruise ships and in the islands. We hope you enjoy your next cruise, and that is it right now from Island Time.